Hey everybody, thanks for coming to dance with me. I'm Laura and today we're gonna to cover four things that you can do to make your swing out better. For leaders. <laughs> Patreon for helping to make this video free for people like you. If you want to help them out, the link is in the description. And without further ado, let's turn it over to fantastic dancer, baby daddy, and my husband, Brooks Prumo. Woo! Hey everybody, I'm Brooks. Thanks for coming to dance with me today. Why are swing outs important? Well, they're one of the fundamental moves of Lindy Hop, so we should try to do them well. And when I say well, I don't mean just do them like me. Lindy Hop is about individuality and creative expression. So use these tips to find out what works for you. In this video, Laura will be doing her best every time. So if you notice anything that changes on her end, it's because she's compensating for me. Now before we show videos of all the tips, here's me trying to do swing outs the best that I can. Lindy Hop is a rhythm-based dance. Bad rhythm is subtle, so we're not gonna have a video showing that. But here are some tips to help you improve your rhythm. Number one, hear the beat and step on it. So the band or the music is probably going doom, doom, doom. So we're stepping on every beat. The next part is that we want to be able to hear the and, the moments in between those beats, and put our triple steps there. Number three, let that rhythm influence the rest of your body so it's not just your feet that are rhythmic. Number four, it's easy to get off beat, especially when trying something new or difficult. Breathe, bounce your butt, and relax. Thing two, move continuously. As far as basics go, the swing out is pretty involved. So as you were learning, you may have been taught it in two halves. Maybe going from open position to close is the first half, and then going from close position to open in the second half. Thing two A, connect your steps. Thinking about the swing out in two halves can create two distinct chunks. In this example, you can see that I'm pausing between the two chunks. And if you further look, you can see that maybe the triple step is not connecting to the next chunk step step. You wanna connect those two chunks. My suggestion, continue that triple step into the next step step. This is for both the first chunk into the second and the second into the first. Contrast these two swing outs. In the bottom version, I'm doing that chunking thing that we're trying to avoid. You'll notice it looks like I'm pausing after my triple steps and I have to restart my momentum for the next chunk. In the top version is when I'm trying to flow through all of my steps, in particular, from the triple step into the next step step. Thing to be, actually move slash take real steps. It's my preference that my momentum is the thing that causes the lead. Therefore, without momentum, without real steps where weight changes occur, a good lead doesn't happen. Let's look at these swing outs together. In the bottom video, I'm moving less. So, to compensate, I need to pull Laura around more. In the top video, you can see I'm moving more. Therefore, Laura and I share the distance more equally. Hopefully, this creates a more comfortable lead. Caveat, there are many ways to do a swing out and this one can be done well too. I just think it should be a conscious choice. Thing three, trust your partner. In class, there may have been an emphasis on getting to open position or getting to close position by a certain time, instead of thinking about the swing out as a journey. Thing 3A, the first half of the swing out. If I don't trust that Laura will make it to close position, I may add more energy than is helpful. This example is a bit of an exaggeration. But notice my right arm is reaching out to Laura as early as I can, as if to say, here's close position, please come here now. Contrast that to me doing my best swing out. In this version, you can see my right arm does not reach out for Laura until she's close enough to be caught. I'm not worried that she won't make it. I asked her to come towards me and I trust that she's gonna do her job. So hopefully I look a little more relaxed as a result. 
My first tip for this section, let close position happen when you're close. My second tip deals with leading into close position. We'll call that count one of the swing out. We may have the good intention of clearly leading our partner into close position, but if we don't trust them, we may be giving them a little bit extra energy to get started. Take a look at this example. You'll notice that I'm giving Laura a lot of energy on count one. And if you look at Laura, you'll see the size of her step on count one is much larger than her other steps. Looking at the swing outs side by side, in the top version, you can see that Laura's steps are more consistent and that we both travel around the same speed. In the bottom version, Laura comes in much faster on count one because of the energy of my lead. Tip number two. Let your rock step on one, two come from the triple step before. Trust that's all you need. Thing three B, the second half of the swing out. Similar to the first half, if we don't trust our partner will make it to open position, we may help them by giving a big lead on count five. In this example, I'm giving Laura a lot of energy on count five. You can see that her steps on five, six have to be pretty big in order to keep up with that energy. Also, the more momentum that Laura has, the more I have to catch in open position. So, a large five can result in a more intense open position. Compare that to the good swing out. I'm trying to make my steps on five, six a continuation of the momentum that I have from the triple step on three and four. My tip for count five is similar to my tip for count one. Connect that rock step to the triple step and let your arm reflect that connection. Also, we don't need to get the whole lead done in one count. Allow the lead to sustain over many beats. This should result in a more relaxed, more comfortable swing. Think four, know your line. As a leader, I'm choosing and leading the moves. If I want my partner to travel down a straight line, I need to lead it. My recommendation is to also move down a straight line. This way I'm sending an obvious message both visually and with my momentum. In this example, even though I'm not on Laura's line, I'm on my own straight line. Also, staying close can help the catch and can make swinging out to faster music easier. In this example, you can see that now I'm moving far around Laura. I'm definitely getting out of her way, but it's more difficult for me to move like this. And let's check out those two swing outs side by side. Again, swing outs are pretty involved, and if yours is already working, it can be difficult to try something new. There are so many ways to do a great swing out. Think about how you want your swing out to look and feel like. Then, look at your body and your partner's reaction to see if you're on the right track. Hopefully that was helpful. Okay, back to you, Laura. I hope you had fun. If you did, like and subscribe. The algorithm loves it when you do that. Head on over to my Patreon, and it's important to know 50% of what I get from this channel goes to organizations that support African diasporic art forms because that's super important to Lindy Hop culture. It's the black dance. If you like the music, check the description. It's Brooks's band. If you want merch, check the description. And of course, the best way to get good at dancing is by watching YouTube videos just like this. JK, it's dancing.